Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to another episode of the Twins of Faith show All about knowledge and action And gaining knowledge to act upon it every day of our lives Now my name is Dean as always your host And with me is Sheikh Taufik Chaudhry How are you doing Sheikh? Alhamdulillah, doing well. Alhamdulillah Now Sheikh our topic for today is prayers Salah Now every Muslim is uh, does Salah Or at least know how to pray Know how to do Salah Know, know how to perform Salah But mm-hmm. Can you just explain to me and the viewers at home and what watching right now what is salah? Well, salah linguistically uh, it means prayer, uh, and by prayer we mean dua. So just like, for example, you say pray to God means make dua to Allah, mm-hmm. or pray for someone meaning make dua for someone. Mm-hmm. Uh, in the same way, salah actually linguistically actually means prayer, uh, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala uses the linguistic form of salah in the Quran when He says. وَصَلِّ عَلَيْهِمْ إِنَّ صَلَاتَكَ سَكَنٌ لَهُمْ And pray upon them or pray for them. Verily, your prayer is a peace and sanctity for them. So here we find Allah using the linguistic form of salah to mean prayer. So Islam, when Islam came, it used that same linguistic form uh, and defined it in these actions that we do, uh, but kept the same linguistic meaning as well. Meaning that even though we're actually standing or bowing and prostrating or saying, uh, actually what we are all doing is just praying all and actually making dua throughout. So the whole of salah is actually dua to Allah Azawajal. It's actually connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What do you do in dua? You're actually calling on Allah, you're connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's what salah really is. It's your link to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's your spiritual divine link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's precisely what prayer really is. And that is why the Prophet said that the salah is nothing but dua. It's nothing but actually praying to Allah Azza wa So not only is your heart connecting with Allah Azza wa but by you turning towards the Qibla, your body has now become attentive towards Allah. When you say Allahu Akbar, that means you've left everything else that is more important in your mind and made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most important. Right? When you uh, are not responding to anyone, when someone sings salam to you or someone's talking to you, it shows that no, this is what's more important. When you're practically trying in your mind to not think of anything except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in front of you, you've made Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most important object of your worship. When you're in your prostration and when you're looking down on the ground and you're looking down on that spot that you're going to make sujood on, you're actually thinking about the moment your head's going to touch down on the ground and you're closest to Allah azawajal. So actually all of salah is about dua to Allah It's all about connecting with Allah, a divine link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is, that I'm sure it shows you how great salah is just from yes. that. Yes, it mm. is. yes it is. But now by, just by that definition, how different is it uh, between salah and dua? You know, in English you translate it both, it goes to prayer. That's why I guess some people are confused in that sense. Yeah. So how do you differentiate between salah and dua in this sense? Well, you know, dua is practically the statement of the tongue, mm-hmm. right? And also the, the uh, f- feeling in the heart. Uh, whereas salah is not only that, it's also the actions of the limbs as well. Mm-hmm. You're actually physically bowing and prostrating and coming closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in that. So in, in that sense, salah is probably more closer, more closer or a more complete dua, if anything. Because not only contains the atten- attention of the heart, but also that of the limbs and also the statement of the tongue. So in every single way, you are now uh, you know, connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.